Thank you, Tony. And the Rhode Island Emergency Management Center is monitoring the forecast and say they're prepared for this latest nor'easter. And of course, one of the biggest concerns when it snows is road conditions. And RIDOT tells us crews will be out in force around the state working to clear the roads. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin continues our weather team coverage live in Cranston. Caroline. Well, Shannon and Mike, the governor announced tonight that state offices will be closed tomorrow, but the state's EMA director said during a briefing in the last hour or so that as of right now, the state does not see a need to declare a state of emergency. The state of Rhode Island prepping for nor'easter number four this March. If you wake up in the morning, uh, it will seem maybe like a regular day, uh, but our concern is when it comes to the evening commute, it's going to be a totally different picture. That's why the state's emergency management agency and the Department of Transportation are asking people to stay off the roads tomorrow if they can. The DOT will have 140 of its vehicles out, plus 450 private vendors, not to mention heavy tow trucks at five locations throughout the state uh, in case there are any accidents and we'll have uh, several tree crews out. National Grid will also have crews out and about. Spokesman Ted Cressy telling us tonight they will have nearly 200 line crews and more than 80 forestry crews in case of power outages. During the last nor'easter, there was a ban on tractor trailers on state highways. EMA Director Peter Gaynor says that has not been put into effect yet. We'll really take a hard look at that tomorrow when the system begins to snow. So uh, it's, it's in our kit of uh, uh, potential tools that we, we may use. DOT crews are expected to be out from the time the snow begins falling to when it dwindles down. Director Peter Alvidi says this is the 24th winter event they've dealt with this year and they're ready. Uh, the governor is really pleased with their performance throughout the season. Of course, we have this one to contend with, so this is the one we're all paying attention to. And coming up tonight at 1030, we'll introduce you to a local woman who's getting ready to run the Boston Marathon for the ninth time in just a matter of weeks. Why she says training has been extremely difficult during these repeated nor'easters. We'll see you in the next half hour. For now, reporting live in Cranston, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Caroline. And southeastern Massachusetts on alert for tomorrow's storm. School officials in both New Bedford and Fall River already scheduling an early dismissal ahead of the first snowflakes. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Loshudo spoke with Fall River's mayor and joins us live with the latest on preparations there. Sheena. Both city officials say they are preparing for this storm, storm number four in the recent weeks, just like any other one. And as usual, your safety is their number one priority. New England just can't seem to catch a break from Mother Nature. This is a video we took in Fall River just one week ago. Mayor Correa called a state of emergency during the last snowstorm that pummeled southeastern Massachusetts. You know, we don't want people on the roads. Uh, they block the street, plows can't get by, and it just ends up causing more problems for everybody. So we felt that that was uh, an important step in ensuring that uh, that snow was coming down so quickly and we could get it off the streets as safely as possible. And now looking ahead, he says city officials are closely monitoring conditions to see what this next storm might bring. There's already a parking ban in place starting at noon Wednesday. You know, I, I grew up in a three tenement home. I remember when I was young, we had to move our cars and we had to find parking. Sometimes it was two streets over, but that's really what people do. They kind of find parking throughout the community. Fall River crews are set to go and ready to work long hours, but at a cost. Mayor Correa says the city's budget is taking a hit from this severe weather. As the snow falls, the price for cleanup rises. Everybody's budget is probably busted by now. Four back-to-back -back storms this late in the budget season, uh, in the budget year, is, is tough. Uh, so we are, we are over our budget, certainly, uh, but we'll make it up. And the mayor says if he has any urgent messages for you tomorrow, he will let you know. And, of course, you can always check in with us on air and online at WPRI.com. Reporting live in Fall River, I'm Sheena Loshudo, Eyewitness News.